Marie Constantine wasn't sure what she wanted to do when she grew up. As a child, her dad would sometimes remind her that she was named after a nun. Marie's great aunt was a Mary Knoll sister, so Marie had long thought about becoming a nun herself. That is until about 12 or 13 years ago, when she finally decided it was not for her. Her friend Renee Daigle recalls the conversation. She says, well, I think I've, I've pretty much decided that I'm, that I'm not going to be a nun. And, and I started laughing. She was kind of taken aback. She goes, well, why are you laughing? I said, well, usually by the time somebody gets to be 55, 56, you know, they pretty much rule that in or out. <laughs> you know? like... Marie didn't become a nun, but her career as an acclaimed and award-winning photographer almost didn't happen either. One day, Marie volunteered for some extra duty as a staff photographer for the Catholic Student Center where she was working as an administrative assistant. In very short order, Marie knew she had a knack for taking photos. Later, she began taking photos for the Baton Rouge Business Report, her first official client. Her specialty was taking photos of people, a craft she's honed over the years. If you have seen any of her photographs, they are so poignant. Doesn't in any way interfere with the moment that's happening. She works really quickly, but she knows exactly how, how to frame things. So she really has a gift to capture reality and authentic moments in time. She, and she goes in and she takes one shot and that's the shot, that's it. That's all she needs to do is, is take one shot. Sure, sometimes it's one shot, but usually, Marie will tell you, it's more than just one. But one photo did propel Constantine's career to that of a world-renowned photographer. In May of 2003, this photo, taken by Marie 18 years prior in Baton Rouge, was chosen by the Vatican to be displayed during the beatification of Mother Teresa. More than 300,000 people crowded into St. Peter's Square for the ceremony. A national audience watched the event on CBS Sunday Morning, where Marie and her photo were featured. In a contest sponsored by the Vatican, the Vatican chose Marie's photo over hundreds of other photos. Unbeknownst to Marie, a friend and priest had submitted one of her pictures. I got to take her picture out of luck, really. And I feel very honored and, you know, not proud because, um, I mean, I just was lucky. It could have been somebody else. Marie calls it luck, but really, that photo and her entire body of work are the result of years of preparation and service to others. Her photographs of St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta represent a consummate accomplishment and a treasure. Her talents as a photographer and an artist are legendary. Every time I'm telling a client that they're going to, uh, you know, that they're going to need some headshots, I always make it clear uh, we're hiring Marie Constantine, the official photographer of Mother Teresa, and you, my client. Marie's adventuresome spirit was cultivated by her parents, who believed in being active, creative, and serving. Marie's initial foray into photographing nuns on their missions of service around the world began in Haiti. It was simply Marie's way of serving, giving her photos to help the Sisters of Charity garner publicity, raise money, and raise awareness. And she's just a she's just an expert at what she does. And when you when you couple that with you know professional acumen and a humanitarian spirit and the ability to tell a story and her ethics and morals and her kind heart. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a powerful combination. I'm thrilled that the Manship School is not inducting her posthumously so that she can be a part of the celebration of all of her success. It's wonderful when we get to see someone at the height of their career um, become a part of the legend of the school. Marie returned to get a second degree from LSU in 1986, this time from the Manship School. She is a remarkable woman who has found her true calling as photographer, storyteller, humanitarian, lover of life, and friend to all. Marie, what a gift you are to us all. Please know how much we celebrate this prestigious honor with you and love you. God bless you. 
Congratulations to Marie Constantine, 2017 LSU Manship School of Mass Communication Hall of Fame inductee.